Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Sad Onion, and as you can see we've got some ground beef in front of us, which can only mean one of two things, either meatloaf, which isn't going to happen, or another burger. We're doing another burger. This is based off of the Zvi burger that um, Northern Lion talked about on the NLSS a little while ago, about a two-handed burger that you need to use a fork with. We're going to make a two-handed burger and see how that goes. So, with as with all of my hamburgers, we start off with a splash of Worcestershire and some brown sugar. And we're not going to season this a whole lot. Um, and this is going to be a pretty simple burger to, to do. We're going to have some onion rings because apparently that's an 830 to awesome thing. And that should be good. And uh, we're going to have some bacon and some cheese. And the special ingredient today, as we work this in, is going to be a satay sauce, which is a savory peanut sauce, which is going to be all the flavor we need. I've already mixed it up. Just kind of get those sauces in. So I'm going to do the bacon in a separate pan, and then we're going to come back once this is all firmed up. Probably add a little bit more seasoning to this. It's probably enough sugar. I will do a glaze like we did last time with a little bit of brown sugar and Worcestershire once again. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> Put a little heat up. Just want that. Oh yeah, and we're also going to add some breadcrumbs, of course, once this is all done. So, how's everyone else doing today? Hope you guys are doing alright. I like making burgers. This is a, a fun pastime. That's probably going to be more than enough Worcestershire sauce. And we will add the panko breadcrumbs this time, uh, because I forgot to uh, pick up actual breadcrumbs, like, at the store. That is more than enough. My mother uh, actually watched the, the, the hamburger episode and mentioned that she doesn't actually do it that way. I always thought she had added the Worcestershire sauce to the meat. She actually added it while it was cooking, so... Did not know that. Even, you know, growing up, that's not something I actually knew. Um, so I'm going to add the, the panko crumbs, and that is probably going to be enough. And again, if you guys missed the first um, hamburger episode, I'll put it in the link, uh, as a link in the description down below. Um, the breadcrumbs, these are sharp, um, help soak up a lot of the juices, and it will keep a moisture and product as long as you can get it homogenized which I think we're doing pretty okay the panko should soak up a lot more juices and be pretty pretty nice and moist all right so we're gonna let this sit for about an hour and then we'll form it and uh, that would be good and I have a bolero bun which is a very soft bun that we use out here for things like uh, tortas which I would probably I will probably be doing as another episode at some point, but not today, obviously. And this is gonna be more than enough for one burger. I'm actually gonna throw in just a little bit more, and uh, we're gonna call this one the Flying Dutchman because it's gonna have the satay sauce, which is a popular, and that is our oven for the onion rings. I'm just going to cook those about an hour before and uh, let them sit so that they can kind of re-adhere to themselves. I'm, I didn't make them myself. We're going to bake the onion rings too because we fried so much stuff as of late. No fried stuff for, for another month. <laughs> so maybe at the end of, of May we'll have a fried episode but we're going to hold off on any other stuff. So yeah, that is really good. I'm gonna wash my hands because I don't wanna get meat juices everywhere. And uh, I think we're good to go. So, this should be good. All right. So yeah, leave that in the, the fridge for about an hour to an hour and a half, just to kind of firm up and absorb all those juices. Like I said, we're not going to season this a whole lot. We don't need to season this a whole lot. The satay sauce has peanuts and garlic and all sorts of spices, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, so you can buy a, a satay sauce. There's a ton of companies out, even in America, that sell it. And um, 
Don't go for the Tiger Tiger brand. This is becoming a bit of a brand thing. Yeah, don't go for the Tiger Tiger brand. It's kind of bland and, and not very savory. Um, but you know, experiment and, and try them out for yourselves. And you know, that's the best thing I can. That's the best advice I can offer. So we'll be right back when we start the uh, patties. So I've got this all set. It. I've I've made these a little thinner than the last burger. I figure, you know, since this is going to be a fairly large burger, I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit to about medium. And again, you don't want to flip these often. You can see a nice bit of bacon grease, which in my personal opinion is the only good uh, use for American bacon. <laughs> going to get a little bit of flack for that, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm not, I've never been a big, big fan of um, American-style bacon. I like Canadian bacon a whole lot, or pea meal bacon, I guess you could call it. Um, and I like smoked meats in general, because I'm a fat ass, <laughs> um, and I'm American, I guess, that's, that's one of the stereotypes. So I'm going to put this on medium heat, and you can already see it's burning, and again, these aren't going to take very long. Uh, this is going to be a really fast burger to make, and it's easy, and that's, it's very simple. The, the scum prime, very, not complex, but there's a lot of steps. This is very, you know... Make the bacon, which I did off camera because everyone should know how to fry bacon. And, you know, make some onion rings or just dice some onion and saute it in the pan after you do this. So it gets that nice beef and pork. I like the, the mixture of beef and pork, that flavor. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to flip this. I have my, my brown sugar off to the side. I'm just going to like sprinkle a little bit over on each side to kind of give it a nice crust. Because, again, much like the... Scum Prime Burger, but between but with the fat and the sugar, it'll actually form this meat caramel that I'm a big fan of because that, it gives you that sweet and that umami, and I, I just I really like that. Um, so I like sweet, I like savory, I like spicy mixes, much like I've I've talked about before. And don't press them too much; you don't want these to lose their 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 juices. But I am going to flip that because that looks pretty good. And uh, I'll flip this. And oop, uh, these were probably not ready to flip. Um, so I'm going to turn this up a little higher. And uh, we are going to just let that sit. Don't want to disturb it any more than they already have because they'll break. Um, yeah, okay. Just making sure that the fire is on. Um, I Thought for a second that something had gone terribly, terribly wrong. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these, this sugar going here real fast. You can hear it. Probably had it on a little too low. I, I have this, I, as I said in the scum prime burger, I have problems with like wanting to flip my burger meat too much. So that's probably enough, and that's probably enough, and it'll soak in. And we'll flip these one more time. Get a nice coating. Okay. Let's get a nice coating. So this will make it nice and sticky and crispy. This mouthfeel is an important aspect of food. Presentations. Oh, I do. They are. They are putting out their own juices now. That's wonderful. Yeah, my the heat seems to be really low, even though the flame is really high. I think there might be a problem with this burner. I've had problems with it before in the past. But yeah, we're not gonna move, we're not gonna disturb the disturb these. We don't want these to fall apart. That'd be really embarrassing. Um, I wish I could tell you the smells going on in here. There we go. Just kind of get it like that. We'll move it a little bit so that it goes into some places with a little bit more heat, perhaps. And then this will nice give it firm crispiness. I am going to fry the um, the bun in this excess oil. I'm going to let this evaporate all the heat. And I'm going to put them in and, and we'll have a nice crisp bun. Which I guess I'll do on camera after this is all said and done. Because that to me is the, the proper way of doing a hamburger bun. Is to kind of let it absorb some of the juices. And then we'll put on some mayo and we'll put on our peanut sauce. and. Uh, we'll figure out how to eat it, but it won't be with a fork and knife. Who eats a burger with a fork and knife? Oh, the sounds. There's nothing more satisfying than hearing food cooking. 
especially at 11 o'clock in the evening. So these can probably get flipped one more time. Yep, that looks beautiful. And that's not falling apart. Wonderful. This was the one I, I feared the most. Um, Alright, so we'll flip this one more time so that this side can get a little bit... I like my, my, my burgers medium well, as I said in, in the last, the Scum Prime burger. Ooh, it is angry, folks. That's probably... That is gonna work out just fine. All right. So yeah, we're gonna let that sit for about another minute. I'm gonna keep my eye on the clock. And we don't need brown sugar anymore. And I still have some excess, uh, excess meat. So I'll probably make a meatloaf for myself with it. Maybe I'll do a meatloaf episode after all. I feel like I at one point said I would. Move you guys over and you guys over. Wonderful. And then we'll be back and we'll do the, the bun. Here, let me move this just a little bit. There we go. Someone asked why I wear a uh, robe. People have commented that I'm not wearing pants. I'm wearing a, a, a an evening robe. Um, I just want you guys to feel like uh, I'm cooking your breakfast in bed. Do you feel that? Alright, that is... Fine. Yeah, and there we go. You can see it nice. Ooh, it is nice and sticky. Perfect. Perfect. These came out wonderful. All right. So we'll let these finish, and we'll be right back with our uh, bun. All right. We are back with our bun. I'm just cutting it. Ah, it's, here we go. So we're just going to let that sit in our, our uh, like I've called it, meat caramel before. I'll let that soak up some of the juices and fry. And this to me is the ultimate way of doing a hamburger bun. Um, so while that sits, I'm going to do something here real fast. Hope you guys don't mind me off here on off camera. And just getting a plate ready to uh, plate this, because it's going to be awesome. How's everyone else doing? I've already asked that, I'm sure, but it's important to know. I hope you guys are doing all right. If you guys have any suggestions of burgers or anything like that, you know, uh, leave it in the description down, or comments in the down below. I love getting uh, suggestions. Someone actually suggested pierogies before I did them, which was pretty cool. I, I have planned that. I have bao goat coming up soon, which is a Chinese meat bun. Uh, based off of a suggestion. So I, I listen, and um, someone asked for borscht, but I hate um, beetroot, so that's not going to happen. At least, not if I'm the only one who has to eat it. I'll make it if I can find someone who will come here and eat it for me. So, if you're in the Flagstaff area, and you like borscht, you let me know. Don't actually do that because I probably won't get back to you because I'm a paranoid person. So we're going to take a look at these. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at that. Can you guys see this? That is um, from the... Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty right there. We're just going to... Oop. And there we go. I just kind of made it a mess. Sticky. But this is good to go, um, so I will meet you at the final process. Back for the final process. We've got our nice buns here. So I'm going to give them a layer of mayo. So yes, I'm going to call this the Flying Dutchman Burger because they are big fans of both saute and mayo in the Netherlands. I think that's a good name. So we're just going to give a nice spread. And this will keep, I think this is the top. It is because it's sticky. But that's good. Got to... And this is the bottom. Good to know your orientation, I suppose, when it comes to your buns. And we'll just give it a nice... This, this acts as a barrier for the grease. And that fry also acts as a nice barrier for the grease. So I'm going to put it on the bacon. And I did... I cut this in half so that we could layer it a little bit better. And I actually think that came out pretty dang good. 
Yeah, that came out pretty good. Nice, nice and crispy. And uh, a lot of bacon, as you can see. We're not doing a healthy burger, God forbid. There's no such thing as a healthy burger. If you're looking for a healthy burger, then you probably have more problems in your life. And we're just doing some... There we go. And we'll just give that a nice press. Crunch. All right. So then we're going to add our first bit of meat here. There we go. Tastes great. And our first piece of cheese. We were using pepper jack because it is the king of burger cheeses. And then our second. And then the second piece of cheese. Yeah, all right, and give that a nice press. And I have our satay sauce, which is a nice bright orangey red. I'm just gonna slather that on. You guys can see that, indeed you can. All right, move this over here. And I will clean up after we devour this. Looks like it came out pretty darn good, wouldn't you say? I would say so. That looks gorgeous. Oh, I'm really proud of this one, too. This is the second burger that I'm, I'm quite happy to have. So, here we have our sticky, greasy burger. Um, I'm going to get a picture, and I'm going to cut it in half, because that is the proper way. And I'm just going to give that a nice, yeah, there we go. I'm going to get a nice picture. I'm washing my hands because they're sticky as hell. Um, and then we will uh, meet back at the eating portion of this. That looks delicious. All right, let's get to this, shall we? I cut it in half, took a nice picture of it. Jesus, this is huge. And even one piece is enough for both hands. I'm going to do this. It's going to be a messy son of a bitch. missing one thing. That's a little spinach. This is kind of blended all together. Mm. So the satay sauce I made, which I didn't show, because it's just a package of satay and a little bit of chili sauce. Apologies if that bothers you guys. Really, just it's just a bottle of satay. You don't need to do anything else to it. I added a little bit of ghost chili peppers. I like spice. Um, mm. So yeah, the satay really kind of is the dominant flavor. You guys saw how much I added. You don't need to add much. It's like an adult peanut butter. It's, just, it's delicious. If you guys ever have a chance to eat satay, go for it. I'll be doing chicken satay for an episode for sure because I still have some sauce left over. Mm. The, you know, the meat doesn't really have a lot of characteristic flavors. We didn't season it all that much because, I didn't, again, I didn't want it to overpower the satay. And I didn't want to add too much satay because it'd be really messy. The onion rings add a really nice crunch. They kind of got lost in the Scum Prime burger, but in here they, they really shine. And that bacon and the grease that we cooked everything in ties it all together. Needs a little greenery. It needs a little, maybe some green pepper would work too. Something to make it a little less unhealthy. Less unhealthy, not that it's, I mean, this is probably the worst thing I've cooked other than the Monte Cristo. But damn it, it's not good. Flying Dutchman Burger, the Zweihander. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching, and bon appetit.